I have body integrity identity disorder, which means that a person feels the need to be disabled in some way. In my case, it means that I felt this compelling need to be blind. I was born with good vision. I first developed the idea that I need to be blind when I was six in early 2008. I found this online group about pretending to be blind. I met a psychologist. I started telling him that I wanted to go blind permanently. The psychologist told me to do the research to show that I was serious and then he would help me. I researched many different ways of going blind. I finally decided on drain cleaner because it was easy to get. He had me lay down on the sofa and he sat down next to me and put two drops of drain cleaner in each of my eyes. The drain cleaner started eating through my eyes. It was a violent pain. With all the pain, all I could think was, yes, this is gonna work. I was elated. My cornea collapsed on my left eye. My left eye was replaced with a facetic. Now I see only light and shadow out of my right eye. I was so happy. I felt that this was who I was supposed to be. My immediate family has basically disowned me. These days I have no regrets. I'm very happy as a blind person. It's your body. You should be able to do what you want to do with it. I don't feel I'm crazy. I just have a disorder that's misunderstood. We wanted to see just how badly Jules' eyes were affected by the drainer fluid. We sent her to our good friend, ophthalmologist Dr. Kyria Seal, for a consultation. Hi, Jewel. How are you? Nice to meet you. In 2008, I decided to blind myself with drain cleaner. What happened then? Did you go to a hospital? Yeah, we went to an emergency room. How long did you wait before you decided to go to the emergency room? We waited 30 minutes. Had glaucoma tubes put in, cataracts developed. Then I had a corneal meltdown in my left eye, and the left eye had to be removed. Let's have a look at your eyes. She's done serious damage to both eyes. The chemicals and drain cleaner eat through the various layers of the surface of the eye. The cornea is completely scarred over. So you're having a lot of weeping from this eye. Mm -hmm. You have conjunctivitis in that left eye, and it's become inflamed and probably picked up a mild infection also. You should be treated with some medication, and the prosthesis should probably be replaced. I unfortunately routinely see people who are irreversibly blind. Some of them are in deep anguish over it and would give anything to have their sight back. So it's always shocking to hear that somebody willfully blinded themselves. I sense some regret on your part. My regret is that my family hates me. Is that your only regret? That's my regret. Dr. Seal joins us, and, and right off the bat, Dr. Seal, what, what did you find with, with Jules' vision? The one eye is completely gone. They've replaced it with a synthetic or, or a fake eye, as we call it, a prosthetic eye. The other eye is completely scarred over, and it's very obvious in examining it that very capable eye doctors who did not realize how she had lost her vision had made tremendous efforts to save this eye. You see tubes that have been put in from the outside to the inside of the eye to try to control the pressure problems inside the eye. Even her iris, the colored part of the eye, has been eaten away by the chemicals on the inside, and she has a very, very dense cataract. All she sees out of that eye is just light, this is a very troubling story. Uh, I've become very familiar with it because, as I mentioned previously, this is a story we've worked with on Dr. Phil. And the one thing I wanted to do here today is just describe how quickly getting acid or some drain cleaners are made with, with sodium hydroxide, otherwise known as lye, how quickly it can literally eat away at your cornea and ruin your vision for life. Within seconds, it can do severe damage. And by its very nature, eats through collagen and fat and tissues at an incredibly rapid pace.